Hi again, everybody. This is Jared Ronsky from SportsAnnouncing.com, and we're bringing you another of the SportsAnnouncing.com Sports Sounds Pro tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at something that is really come in handy. A lot of people have asked about because they want proof that the songs played. Yeah, sponsors will look for it, and it's a nice little feature to have, and that's the Sports Sounds Pro logging feature. It's a simple text file that will make finding the songs and everything that you need a lot simpler. Now, in order to get there, you need to go into your computer, which is usually the C drive, and then click on the Sports Sounds Pro folder, which you see right here. Click on it, and then you're going to scroll down. What I do is I always go down to the end anyway, because it's right here, Sports Sounds Pro Log.txt. It's a simple text file. Double click, and it'll open up for you. And I'll try to show you something here. It goes all the way back to the first time I used Sports Sounds Pro on this computer, which was set up back on July 26th of 2015, uh, just getting ready for a Washington Castles home match. I actually started it up, shut it down by accident, and started it back up. And what you're looking at here, uh, this actually goes up until May of 2016 because it tracks literally everything. And you see literally everything. And there's strings in there. You look at this. This is still July 26th. When the Washington Castles play, there is a lot of music that goes into playing at those matches. So you will see here that, yes, indeed, there are songs being played every 20, 30 seconds or so. But you take a look down, this one here, I was playing around with a couple of songs, wanted to take a listen to them. Closed out, came back again at 4.13 in the afternoon, same thing. This is another Castles match. World Team Tennis has a lot of music involved in it. But this log file, I can go down and say, okay, I played back on December 29th. This was a hockey tournament that I announced. I know what time the games were. The first game was, uh, I believe, at 11 on that day. And by looking at the, the songs and everything that are on there, I think it was at 11, because this is the song where the team took the ice. So... In here, I know what all was played when it was played. I can tell you right here the goal was scored. There's the ta-da, one, three, and five. That way I know, I, I can actually figure out where the goals were scored. I can go back and actually figure out the score of the game as well, based off of that. Uh, because I know where the, the goal horns and, and goal sounds were with everything. So I can just find these. It will also tell you hot key in there. So I can go back. Somebody asked me, hey, what was that song you played with five minutes left in the game? I can go scroll. I can say, okay, it was Love You Like a Love Song, or it was Miracle, or Indestructible. It was. I've got it right there. I can go back. I can figure out what the song was that I played. What did I play when they took the ice? Indestructible, followed by Monster, because I know that's about the time they would have taken the ice. Uh yeah, some more warm-up songs that are in here. I think this one was more of... No, this was definitely another game. But you see you've got this log that you have in there. It's a text file. You can then take it and send it along to people that need it. I'm going to scroll all the way down here and show you that I've been playing around, just messing around with some of the songs on here. Boom. This one here didn't record right right away. I'm actually recorded. That was one I played right before I started this. Close out. Go back in. It'll play it for you. In fact, I don't believe I played anything after this song as it was. So this log file will continue to be written again. So I click on it. There's still that open spot. I play a song. Come back to the log. Scroll all the way down. And that would actually appear right in there if I had it gone. Let me close this one. I do have another text box open, which could be causing the issue. But I come down here, scroll all the way to the bottom. There was a problem in there. If I were to close this, it would finalize that last song that was in there. So I know that I have that. I know that I just played Concrete Blonde Joey. There's Rio Party Shaker, and it's writing in the Concrete Blonde song. Once you close out and end the log, it will put that in. So you get done, close out of Sports Sounds Pro. You can now copy and paste that log if you need to send it in to somebody to prove, okay, we played X amount of songs. It, it depends on your facility. Some want it, some don't. But it's also good to go back and see how many songs did you actually play for an event. 
have fun with it, play around with it a little bit, just keep track of it, and keep having fun out there. If you have any questions about this or any other features with Sports, uh, Sports Sounds Pro, be more than happy to answer them for you. Just send me an email at dj at sportsannouncing.com. I'll uh, be happy to get with you as quickly as I can. Obviously, there's events going on and uh, doing a lot of events in and around the D.C. area and, and throughout the Mid-Atlantic region. But more than happy to help you out if you need any help. And keep having fun out there.